I'm not perfect. I I'm not going to kick like, you while you're down, dude. I'm no. devastated. I know, man. We're going over to try on our, like, groomsman tuxes at his place tomorrow. And without you being there, it just does not feel right, man. I feel like I might have to make a case. So I'm not worth it, dude. Dude, don't ever say that again. F you, man. Dude, you don't need to do anything except just be his best man. I don't know how to be a best you man. Don't need, I, yeah, you do. I'll show you. Uh, dude, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hook you up with the ultimate, like, survival kit for the wedding, okay? And you wear it so I can be there in spirit. Okay? This, oh man, this doesn't feel right. I'm thinking back to my wedding and uh, just how special it was having Jax and Tom stand up there with me. I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart that I've never loved you more than this film right here. To think that Tom's not gonna be there for Jax, I just, oh, I feel gutted. We're doing a little backdoor stuff today. Yeah. I am engaged to my soulmate, Randall Emmett. He is kind, he's generous. He makes me feel on a daily basis that I am the best person on the face of the earth. This will definitely be like the first home renovation in my last. I second that. We're going to be here for a long time. Rand and I started our home renovation over a year and a half ago. You know what, babe? You should just move in already. I agree. I just want to get the master bedroom Finished. moved up. We basically gutted the entire house. I will never do another renovation again. You could not pay me to do a renovation, OK? Well, we're close. We're not but that far. But for real, if we ever decide to move, we're doing what Jax and Britt did. That shit is turnkey. But can I tell you something? For the last few days, Jax has been hitting me a lot. You and Jax text more than like me and my mom text. OK, but you know what it is? He's closest to my age. <laughs> and we have a lot of fun and we laugh together. Just Let's think what someone says about their girlfriend. We have a lot of fun, like, <laughs> she, she makes me laugh. OK, all right. OK, so I'm freaking out about every little thing right now. So what would you do if you were me and with the Ariana situation? I just think she's a wet blanket. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want her in my wedding. There are two versions of Ariana. There's this fun chick who's twerking on you, but then there's the other side of Ariana where she's not happy for her friends. Hey, so what's the problem with, with, with me having a book signing? And Schwartz is the one who approved it. There needs to be like a set protocol. Ariana and Sandoval live on this high horse together while we all want to cut both of them. They just don't want to see people do well. Yeah. I hate to interrupt. What? I made a decision. I've wanted to have Randall in my wedding. The only reason I did not have Ran Randall in my wedding is because I thought he was going to be in production. Are you always gonna... being for real? I would have asked him a long time yeah. ago. And now, we'll, it's, it's not even now, so. <laughs> Double fried chicken. Let's go <laughs> off. Let's have a party. Randall, it makes sense. Love you so it really makes sense. Like, yeah. you have no idea. I could not have been more wrong about somebody in my life yeah. if I tried. Thank you. I've known Randall now for about two years, and he's just a giver. He's flown us to Mexico, Miami, Bahamas. It, we just became friends, just, you know, naturally. I have one more thing to ask. Come on. Just... <laughs> oh, would, you, would you do the honor of, of being in my wedding next week, please? <laughs> Did I do that right? <laughs> I know it's last minute. Are you going to cry? I'm <clears throat> speechless <laughs> and in shock. We're still on my knee. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> I love you, okay. and I will 100% be there. Oh, that's an awesome. honor. Yes. That's an honor. Dude, yes. thank you. That's thank awesome. you, dude. Such a bad to a positive. Yeah, that's a yeah. Way better. I think of all of us as just like this big, dysfunctional family, and I don't like feeling like one of my dysfunctional family members like doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. I don't feel like you enjoy us very much. I don't enjoy 
most things very much. But, but you guys why? don't know that because we don't talk one on one. I'm considering driving off the fucking freeway bridge when I'm driving home at night. I don't talk to you guys about that stuff. Debbie Downer. Why? It's what you're going through. Because it's not safe. It's not safe. She's Debbie Downer the whole time. It's just gonna ruin everyone else's mood. I just noticed, like, being around her, she, like, there was, like, a little cloud that hung over her. I just think she's a wet blanket. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry that you're going through a lot. Thanks. I've been there. You know, I've gone through many times where I struggled with depression and anxiety. Sometimes you're at a place in your life where you're in a hole and you don't want to live, and life seems to be okay. There's nothing that should make you feel that low, but you can't explain it. I would hope to God that if you're having feelings like that, that you would feel comfortable enough to come to one of us. Hearing what Ariana has been going through internally breaks my heart because I get it. I've been there. My dad is just a memory. <laughs> Stasi, I just feel like my world just crumbled. I'm just really f***ed up right now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I had no idea that these were her thoughts, or else I would have done something about this.